it is officially springtime. It is March the 23rd, 2019. It's time to get started on the trailer again. And today, I'm going to start on the bathroom. I'm a week behind because the treasury didn't have anything in it. <clears throat> so now, I've got a list of things here I need to go get. Um, also, I want to show you guys. Here's this floodlight that I got. On the YouTube community board, you know, I posted some goofy pictures of the lights I had on the outside of the shack here just to kind of keep the deer and the critters away. But this is the light. It was $24. It's not LED. It's a halogen light, 200 watt. But I like it. It works good. 24 bucks. But I will probably go ahead and upgrade this at a later date to LED. So, let's get started. Oh, in case you all haven't seen... Here are my countertop for the kitchen. I'm still not 100% sure I'm going to use this stuff because it takes up all the way from the windows. And it, well, I'll just show you. Okay, these windows are going to be gone. This wall is going to be made flat. If you see, it's got the angle to it. Here's a flat section angle. But if you look underneath here, it's just a flat wall. Okay, so. The two ends are going to get a makeover. They're going to be made flat. And there's going to be one small window where this big one is about up here. You know, it's just for me and privacy. When people drive by, they don't have an unobstructed view to look inside and see what I'm doing. That's why I have these curtains up. So, one countertop section is going to go here. My sink that's there is going to go over here. And it's going to loop around like a horseshoe. As you can see, these black marks on the floor here, the Advantech in that right there, it's going to make a horseshoe go all along that wall. The oven is going to get scooted over, and then there's going to be a big island right here. Okay, Kind of like how I've got this set up, but it's going to be a lot bigger. It comes out 8 foot. So with that coming out, I'll have a section here for like bar stools, kind of like I already have. There'll be room on the end for maybe two bar stools, and I'll still have from here where my foot is to the wall worth a walkway. Okay, it's gonna be plenty of room. Even if there was a wheelchair right here, it could get through just fine. And I just kind of walk around and kind of horseshoe in the kitchen, yada 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 yada. Are you sick yet? <laughs> so, and we're at the bathroom. So the plan today is I'm taking all my laminate up. This wall here. Okay, and it's coming down, getting completely removed. The bathtub is getting brought out of here. Where is it going? I don't know. But it's going to go around here someplace because all the floor that I piecemealed in the bathroom is getting replaced with a Vantech. Okay, it's going to be done right for all you, you know, procedure dudes. I'm going to do it right to the best of my ability that I've learned. The toilet's going to get taken out. Like I said, the floor is going to get replaced all over here then i'm gonna put down the floor again at a later date this closet i don't know if it's gonna stay or if it's gonna go i want to remove it but currently i've got a lot of stuff in here i mean it's just like towels and stuff it's not that big a deal as you can see it's kind of a storage for everything even helmets but then i have to find some place to put this stuff and i really don't have a place honestly so it might stay for the time being later date i can remove it and put new floor down yada yada and yes some eight track action this eight track has become infamous <laughs> on these videos people dig the eight track so even though i'm not too keen on it i'm gonna keep it and i use it every day well yeah every day basically now because when i leave i like to turn on the power and crank up the tunes that way the animals have something to listen to is that silly i mean i just think it's nice to have something going that way they're not in here completely quiet but that's just me anyway let's get to the store but wait there's more <laughs> these are the original speakers that was installed in the trailer with that eight track and you can hear it See, it works. Okay, now let's go to the store. Going back from the hardware store, and I got my two sheets of Advantech. I had to get a new blade here for my oscillating tool. 
and two boxes of screws these are about one pound a piece and from what i've been using with my contractor friend doing decks remodels stuff like that this is all he uses and i have to say compared to the grip right brand of interior exterior screws these by by no means are even close to the grip right these are way better so if you have to get wood screws i would look for this brand most definitely now let me just show you you take the saber drive brand and you look at the very tip of the screw see all the little teeth and then you've got that cutting edge and then you come all the way up the screw it will actually drill the hole while you're sinking it in the wood now you take the grip right brand now i know this isn't the same size but it's pretty basic you know it doesn't have all the extra little teeth and stuff and if you just made this a longer screw the same size it's basically just going to be a screw so there's really in my view there is no comparison whatsoever in the quality of the screw plus the head actually hooks onto your bit a lot better than that so yeah saber drive way to go stocked up with beverages now let's get to work okay so first step remove my laminate and put it someplace and then i'm going to start taking down this wall after that okay so here at the edge this piece here or is it this piece it's just kind of sticking down that's all it is let me get this piece and that's it now the bigger pieces shouldn't be that big of a deal because this whole piece I should be able to lift it up all in one section and that's all it is laminate flooring is really simple to put down really simple to put up as long you know as it's got its pat it back already and you don't have to glue it or staple it and stuff like that so let me get to it now if you remember this video when i put the the vinyl plank down not laminate i'd use cardboard to kind of bring up the low spots in the floor so here it is all this stuff's going to be taken out there's another piece of lulon i need to pick up now i'm going to wait to take out the toilet until once the shower is completely out of here because i want to be able to to work as free as I possibly can. So let me get this up. I'm gonna pick up the cardboard and I'm gonna start working on that wall. Well, negative go, Shrider. <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and start taking that wall out, remove the tub because this Luon is one piece underneath the toilet. I forgot about that. So I guess I'm working on the wall now. Now here's a screw that I wanna show you guys. If you've never tore into a mobile home or you have an RV, you're going to find a lot of these square head screws. They were developed in Canada. I can't remember what they're called. I just call them trailer screws and they suck. <laughs> I hate them. So what you need is you need to get you a bit kit like this. This is from DeWalt. You don't have to get the kit, but it's just nice to have everything you need. And you want a square head. That's what you're looking for. And the size SO2. It's either SO2 or SQ2, and that's the size DeWalt calls out for it. And it will make your life so much nicer when it comes to taking apart cabinets or wall sections because these screws are every place. Now, I got those horrible screws out of here. As you can see, this whole section is not going to play nice. It's you know it's loose but i was just wanting to take this board here out and i was hoping that you know those screws might let me do that but it looks like i'm going to get out my multi-tool and i'm just going to cut i'll probably just keep it simple i'll just cut it here cut it here because this i'm not keeping any of this stuff it's just i'm trying to remove this you know least as possible without trying to make a big huge mess i'm trying to change my ways and be a little easier and cleaner as i go about doing stuff instead of just you know reverting to the hammer so 
Here's the tool I'm going to be using. I've had this for a while. This is a Dremel multi-tool or multi-max, I guess. And it's got these little flat blades and they vibrate at a very high rate of speed and they cut very well. The only downside is I think this tool, don't quote me, I think I spent $40 on it, but the blades is where they get you. Now this blade here was fairly cheap. It was $15, but when you get into like a lot of the bimetal blades and uh, stuff like that, the higher quality blades, you could spend as much as $40 a blade, but you know, they are worth the money and definitely can give you really good results. So let me plug this in and get to cutting that section out. Okay, so we got that wall section taken out. And like I said, I tried to be as neat and non-destructive as possible. But sometimes you just got to use a hammer. But I'm proud of myself. You know, it's it's not destroyed, like, beyond recognition. <laughs> so, anyway, here's this part. So, I'm going to clean up, and I'm going to regroup and figure out what my next step is. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I don't want to get too long. I know I've been putting out some 20-minute videos. So, I'm going to go ahead and post this, and just stay tuned. There's going to be a part two here probably in the next day or so. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Like and subscribe. Follow the links below, or not follow them, but check them out for me if you wouldn't mind. And I'll see you all later.